Are we good to go? Um, looks like we're still waiting on Riley. Andy, do you want to go ahead and test your microphone, make sure it's all set up and good? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep, okay. Perfect. Perfect. And Riley's working on getting in. She's having trouble with the panelist link, so I told her to try as an attendee. Oh, oh I see her now. Hey, Riley, do you just want to test your mic real quick and make sure it's working? Yeah, can you guys hear me okay? All right, sounds good. I think we're all ready to get going. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Uh, this meeting is an administrative hearing of Salt Lake City Planning Division. Uh, my name is Mayara Lima, and I will be serving as the administrative hearing officer today. Uh, the date is January 26, 2023. Uh, the administrative hearing is authorized by the Salt Lake City Code to hear land use applications that are eligible for administrative approval and require public hearing. Uh, tonight, we have two items on the agenda. Uh, both are for conditional uses to allow bar establishments. Uh, each item will start with the presentation by the assigned staff planner. Um, it will be followed by the applicant if the applicant chooses to provide any additional information. Um, and then we'll open the public hearing uh, for anyone wishing to provide input input on the proposal. Uh, after the public hearing, I, as the hearing officer, will make a decision. I must first disclose that in reviewing conditional uses, the scope of my decision is limited to whether the proposal complies with the standards of approval and if they are if there are any detrimental impacts. If the detrimental impacts can be reduced by imposing conditions, um, I am obligated by the state of Utah and Salt Lake City ordinance to approve the petition. So the first item on the agenda is PLN PCM 2022-01019, um, conditional use request for a bar located at uh, 550 South, 300 West, and the planner is Andy Holka. All right, thank you. Let me see. Oh, you know, I don't know it. The share button is not. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm a presenter. Thank you. Let me share my screen. I'll get the recording up. All right, Greg, you can all see that screen. Great. Yes. So this is a. Uh, presentation for, as you said, Level Crossing Brewing Company at 550 South 300 West for bar establishment conditional use. The address, as I said, 550 South 300 West is um, located in the new post district development that's um, taking over the east half of this block between 5th and 6th South, 4th West and 3rd West. It's in the D2 downtown support zoning district and part of the downtown master plan. Um, bar establishments are listed in our land use table as a conditional use, which is why we're here tonight, um, because it's not in a residential district or um, there aren't any current residential tenants there. Um, this can be approved administratively at this meeting. The request is for a new uh, level crossing brewing company. This will be their second location, I believe. As I said, it's part of this post district mixed use development that's currently under construction. Um, as you can see from the photo on the screen, uh, it's it's underway still, but they are preparing to uh, get started on some of the interior improvements. That's why we're having this hearing. Some information about the bar. The proposed floor area is 3,430 square feet. It will have a bar area, but also a small brewery, pizza kitchen. There is a um, dining area that includes uh, a total of 154 seats, indoor and outdoor. 
It'll be open daily from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. and up to 12 employees working at a time. Staff recommends approval with conditions, which I will get to as we go through the standards. Uh, the standards of review that we've gone through, um, we reviewed this for the zoning code. As I said, it's in the D2 downtown support district. Also needs to comply with the conditional use standards, the alcohol related establishment standards. Full uh, review of all of those standards is included in the staff report. We did go through and find that it does comply with the applicable standards. We also reviewed the applicable master plans, which are Plan Salt Lake, and in this case, the downtown master plan. Um, generally speaking, bars and restaurants, these types of uses are um, expected in the downtown area to support some of these goals that are on the screen. We want to encourage vibrant gathering places, um, nodes of activity, and to facilitate local business growth. So based on all of that review, um, we find that it does comply with the standards and that it should be approved. We recommend that you approve the request with one condition, that the applicant shall record a copy of the approved security and operations plan with the city recorder's office. So that uh, concludes my presentation. And I do believe that the applicant was online. So if we need to ask them any questions, I'm happy to do that. Okay, and that's Mark, right? Yes, Mark. Okay, let's move Mark to panelist. Uh, Mark, you can unmute yourself, put your camera on if you want. Um, is there anything that you would like to add to the presentation? Um, I, I just wanted to say, I appreciate you guys taking the time to, um. Take this under consideration, um, you know, as Andrew said, we're uh, opening up our 2nd location. Uh, I've been an owner operator of, um, the level, the original level crossing brewing company here in South Salt Lake uh, for 5 years. Uh, so we're just looking to expand, um, you know, the operations is more as a brew pub and or a restaurant. Um, so I just. I want to be clear as far as a bar, it's not a late night kind of a 1 a.m. Uh, bar. It's just very uh, just brew pub, you know, wood fired pizzas, um, uh, you know, with outdoor dining. So uh, that's all I would really like that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we don't have anyone else besides Lexi, which is the uh, next item. So. Um, I'm going to open the public hearing, um, but we don't have anyone to speak. So just for the record, opening the public hearing, um, having no one else in attendance, I will close the public hearing um, and make the, f the following decision. Um, based on the information uh, in the staff report, the information presented and the input received during the public hearing, I approve petition PLNPCM 2022-0109 and grant conditional use uh, to a BART establishment at 55 South 300 West with the condition listed in the staff report. Um, okay, thank you, Mark. Thank uh, you very much. You can work with Andy on the next steps and then we'll move to the second item, which is let me open this PLN. Oops. PLN PCM 2022. That's slow. Sorry. <laughs> 2022 uh, for bar establishment at 615 North 400 West. And I'm moving to Riley. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have the option to share um, on my screen, so I don't know if the settings need to be changed for me or maybe someone else who's on the call. I did. It. I, okay. Yeah, I always forget to I, do that. Okay. Can we see that okay? Yes, but it's not in the presenter mode if you want to change that. Okay. Let me get there. 
How about now? Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. As introduced, my item is a conditional use approval request for a bar establishment at 615 North 400 West. Here's an aerial and zoning map of the property. Um, it's located on the corner of 600 North and 400 West. And the site is currently developed with an existing building and parking area. Um, no additions to the building or modifications are proposed as part of this request. The site is located in the M1 light manufacturing zone where a bar establishment is listed as a conditional use. Here are some site photos um, that I took when I did my site visit. Um, they were taken, taken from various locations on the site and also from the surrounding area. Um, this shows the front of the building, um, a view to the neighboring property of the west to their side of the building, the rear of the building, and another view of the property to the west from the rear of the property. Um, this middle bottom picture is a picture that I took of 600 North. Um, this is the road that accesses the site and it's a one-way street. A full analysis um, of staff's review is included in the staff report um, and staff recommends approval of the conditional use permit as presented. Um, and I can take any questions or comments if you have any. Um, I don't have any comments. I think we can probably move to Lexi. If she wishes to speak, let me move her into the panelist group. Lexi, you can unmute your, yourself and turn on your camera if you want. Let us know if you want to add anything. Uh, I don't have anything to add unless anyone has any questions. Um, I have a quick question. Um, the two comments, the public comments were related to the use um, is your intention to have strictly a bar? Yes, just a bar there. Okay. Thank you. Um, there's no one in the public hearing, uh, but I will open the public hearing for the record. Um, do we have anyone that wishes to speak on this item? <laughs> <laughs> um, having no one in attendance, we can close the public hearing and I I will make a motion or I will make a decision. Um, and give me a second. Based on the information presented um, in the staff report, um, I move. No, sorry, I'm going to start again. Based on the information presented in the staff report and the input received, I approve the conditional use for a bar, a bar establishment based on staff's recommendation. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. And I think that is all we have for today. Uh, Lexi, please work with Riley for the next steps. Okay. Thanks everyone. Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you.